I said I should be sacked. The word sacking and the one keeping to your promise are two different things. All the works because by our party constitution, there must be zoning for elective offices and political uh, offices. And that he has said, knowing fully well, that there's no way the presidential candidate and national party chairman should come from one zone. He said, if the chairman, if the presidential candidate comes from the north, I will resign to allow the south to produce the national uh, chairman. And all we are saying, as a man of honor, if you have anyone, keep to your honor, keep to the integrity. So the issue of people sacking him does not arise. All we are saying, keep to the agreement that yes, in order for a party to show inclusivity, in order for a party to show we're not marginalizing any zone, keep to the agreement that the presidential candidate will come from the north as it has come from the north, and the national chairman will come from the south. So saying that nobody can sack him, <laughs> does not arrive, because nobody has said he must be sacked. For you to be sacked, there are procedures of sacking people. All we are saying, for Nigerians to believe, you know, if at this point in time, you are the national chairman of a party who has told Nigerians who have told Nigerians that this is what you do if this happens. And now that has happened. And you are running away from doing that. So how do you think Nigerians will not believe you? Assuming you try to tell them to vote for your party. And all we are saying, look, this is very simple. If you say you will not honor, you will not keep the integrity, no problem. No problem. That thing has given you confidence. We have no problems. But what we are saying is that we want our party to win. But if you think they can do without keeping to the promises you have made, so be it. So coming to say nobody can sack him. And that also tells you the impunity. The impunity. I had when he said he would have stopped Autumn from running. You see how ungrateful human beings are. This was the same his governor, Autumn, who pleaded with us. I said, listen, listen, I can take this risk and let him become the national chairman without being greedy. The agreement member, the governor that no national chairman should come from where a governor comes from. We agreed on that. But Otom came, and as a man we respect, he said, listen, I want to promote my people. Let them be at the national politics. And we said, okay, we are honor, we'll agree. This is a man who never campaigned anywhere. This is a man who never bought for me, never bought a poster. Even though the money they gave him to, to print posters, he never printed any poster. Now I can even tell you if you wanted to stop the man. Who brought him? Who granted for him? Who became his granddaughter? He can say, he now says, if I wanted to stop him. That's the corruption we are talking about. He has now come into office. He has seen money. He has seen power. Now he can open his mouth to say if he wanted to stop or Tom, he would have. But would dare him. And he said he can also stop any contestant. Look at maybe he's hollow. He doesn't know anything. You said you dare him. I dare him. If he's national chairman, to let I dare him to stop any contestant. If he has what it takes. Not, not even the issue of corruption. But I look, this is not what we thought you should have done. 
I said, look, resign. In their honor. Why is he not going to resign? He's hoping that Nigerians will donate money to the party. So he will superintend over that money. He has already finished one of 11 billion of party primaries uh, money. Account for it is there, it's there, it's in the account. Oh, show us the account, show the, show the public the account. Don't tell the public, go to the account. How would they go to the account? Open the account, print the account of PDP. Let the world see how the 11 billion dollars were expended. So this is the country and this is a party that all of us are laboring to take over power from the ruling party that we say have done that. And then the national chairman will open his mouth to talk about stopping contestants. I, you know, I shouldn't say so. He tried it in River State. He came to manipulate and try to put some good bars around. But he saw the result. We dealt with him. This is the problem we're having now. The country is seeing us as people who are not serious. Ordinarily, like I've said, and I've got not to say, do we really want to win the election with this kind of arrogance and impurity? Do we really want to win the election? And as that look, from what we have surveyed, Nigerians want to change. When Nigerians want to change, if the people they're expecting really shows that they are prepared for it, it's not about hiring media houses to insult governors. No, 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 it's not about that. For some of us, we have a thick skin. If you like, abuse us the way you want, the truth must be told at all times. And it is the day the election comes and results are coming out. You will know those who are really on ground, not those who have media houses, who control media houses. For me, the party is in a dilemma now because the issue of credibility, the issue of integrity is still at play. It's still at play. And we must have to resolve that issue. All I can never do is to succumb for anybody to say I'm a slave. We must keep to what our constitution of our party says. The presidential candidate, you have said, should come from the north. Therefore, the south, the south town part of Nigeria should take the chairmanship. But if you say you're not going to allow it, you're not going to keep to your west, to our constitution, because of your greed, because you believe that there are Nigerians who want to donate money to the party, that you will superintend, like you have superintended the money that came from the primaries. So be it. And then I have also read where some people say we shouldn't cross the line. And I read on the, ordinarily I shouldn't have responded to this. I, I, I read they say it's one uh, daily uh, You see, these are the things I'm talking about. Ask him, when did he come into PDP? He came into PDP two weeks to the presidential uh, uh, <laughs> race. He's from Edo State. Not one vote. Not one vote, not one vote. The, let's say from his own state, at least our son, our son. You know, when you don't want, you just want to let them recognize you, presidential aspirant has become a spokesperson. You, somebody who wants to rule Nigeria, or govern Nigeria, has become a spokesperson of a presidential uh, You know, some people just, uh, all of you know, how many times that we would have been in Portal Court? All of, all of you know that for one more project committee. But see, these are the things I tell you. I'm not going to be a party for anybody to think that you will use me to be relevant. If you don't have any job, say you don't have any job. If you love this party, luckily for me, luckily for me, I have never left this party one day since 1999. I've never left this party one day. Never. Some of them, whom I hear, I see around now, present with their duty. It's not to run around anybody who becomes a presidential candidate. Some of them in Anambra State, when they wanted to control the government of Anambra, someone like uh, Chidoka, they didn't give him the ticket. He left PDP and ran another party. Right? These are people who said they love PDP. He left PDP 
arrive in another party simply because PDP did not give him a ticket. Have I left PDP? I've not left PDP. I still remain PDP. I have said I will remain in the party and fight for our rights. I will not leave the party. And that's what makes a difference. Check them, what are their votes? I'm not looking for a job. I'm not looking to be a minister. The most of the, when you see most of the people around, they have no job. I don't know. I don't people can begin to tell them whom they are. All of them are common men. Yes, it's true. It's true. We tell Nigerians whom they are, the kind of persons they are. If it's not relevant, we will show who's relevant during the election day and after the election. That's what all I'm doing. But I, I want to dare the national chairman to stop those contestants. He, he knows that he has no power. He knows he can't do it. He don't play to the gallery. He does not have what it takes. He doesn't have. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. So let him not clear. He should go. We know that he has shown that PDP cannot change. He since a president over PDP. Has there ever one day someone meeting today? Now he has money. Can someone meet him? Book. When he wanted to run for, when we brought him to be chairman, did he ever someone meeting in book that he wants to run for chairman? That he cannot insult autumn. Simply the man told him, look, what you are doing is not right.